What's up? It's me, Analog Attack, back again. How you all doing? And as you can see today, we're on location. We're in downtown Osaka, Nipponbashi, Denden -den Town. Why are we here? Well, I'm going to show you seven of my favorite record shops. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, we're going to start off today in this building behind me. Uh, there's two stores in this building, uh, Soundpack and Wild One. So let's go and have a look, look inside, shall we? All right, so we're inside Sound Park. It's the first store we're gonna look at today. It's a small chain. I have about three or four shops in the Nipponbashi area of Osaka. This is my favorite one, so we'll just come here today. I think the best score I got here was the Jerusalem LP from 1970, uh, hard rock records, quite rare. 1,000 yen, I found that here. So what's gonna be here today, let's have a look. So let's, uh, let's look at the wall first, so what we got. This is the heavy metal and rock section. Uh, what's standing out for me today? Oh, here we go. This is kind of nice. We've got Nice Japanese pressing of Uri Heap. Look at yourself, probably my personal favorite Uri Heap record. 2,500 yen, what's that like, about 20, $25, something like that. Costs you much more on Discogs, I can tell you that for sure. What else we got? Ken Hansley, Word, Proud Words on a Dusty Shelf. Uh, Kiss, 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 look it up. Japanese pressing, not bad. 1,800 yen, not a bad price. And, uh, at the other end of the scale, oh, this is cool, I didn't notice before. Apocalyptic Raids, the Pentagram. This is some nice uh, Hellhammer and Celtic Frost worship. I haven't got this, I should probably pick this up later. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, this is the heavy metal and rock section. Uh, rain, there's a rainbow section, uh, Deep Purple, Grand Funk, Bad Company, Free, Susie Quattro, Wishbone Ash, uh, Uriah Heap, Wine Tea, Van Halen, White Snake. Amazing. All right, so opposite the heavy metal, we've got basically a lot of 70s rock and a lot of prog. I'm a big prog fan, so this is a good store for me. And what's sort of sticking out on the wall? Ah, here we go. This is the first thing that sort of catches my eye is this really nice Japanese pressing of King Crimson and Court of Crimson King. Good condition, 2,800 yen. I'm not sure if this is the first Japanese pressing or not, but. Um, yeah, and it's graded A, and usually in Japan, anything graded A or VG is sort of American or European near mint. Japanese used records are usually in, in really nice condition, so obviously a classic. King Crimson, and then let's go down the prog section, progressive rock. Right away, this is sticking out for me. The Pentangle, one of my favorite uh, sort of British folk band of the late 60s, early 70s. I love this record, I've got a copy at home, but if you don't have this, Solomon Seal, Pentangle, 1,500 yen, Japanese pressing, no OB, but this is a this is a classic, classic record. Um, one more thing is sort of sticking out to me. It's this is Hawkwind record. I think it's it's a bootleg. It's uh, live at the bottom line, New York, 978. Live Hawkwind record that I don't have, I've never seen before, so I might pick this up later. So now we're upstairs in Wild One. Wild One is one of my favorite record shops in all of Osaka. It's just all heavy metal, heavy rock, and prog. And they've got an amazing selection. So let's see what's on the wall today. So, oh, look at this. So first thing that catches my eye is this ACDC, High Wood of Hell, original Australian pressing, different sleeve to the other international pressings. I've never seen this. It's a great record to have on the wall. Uh, and beneath that, Candlemas, I'm wearing the Candlemas t-shirt today. It's Wiz, 10 inch EP, another one I don't have. It's got the same design as the t-shirt, the Candlemas logo. And then one more thing that's sticking out to me a little bit on this wall is Metallica. Uh, Garage Days EP, Japanese pressing, don't, doesn't show up too much. So that's my favorite three on the wall here. And then going down, this is all heavy metal. So A to D, D to G, G to K, K to O, right at the front, you've got Onslaught, amazing. All right, so at the other end of the wall, there's some gems on here too, I'm telling you. So, first thing caught my eye is 
budgie squawk. I think this is first UK pressing. A bit hard to find. My, my pressing is a much later pressing. Great to see this here on the wall in Japan. And then moving up, Fateful Breath. Back on my heel, another record that you don't see too often. And panning down, got more heavy metal. This is all heavy metal. And this is really sticking out for me today. Which find the general Soviet Invasion 12 inch original. Amazing, amazing record. Another one you don't come across too often. It's great to see that. And this is interesting because tomorrow I'm going to be doing a French heavy metal episode. So this sort of ties in uh, quite nicely. Sortilege. It's the original French presser of this record. Great heavy metal from France. Fantastic. Now we're at the third shop in Nippon Bashi, Den Den Town. It's another heavy metal shop, SA Music, Den Den Town, Nippon Bashi, Osaka. Look at the sign, heavy metal, heavy rock, death, black, thrash, doom, gothic, Japanese metal. Picture of Eddie from my Maiden at the bottom. Let's have a little look inside. Right, so we're inside SA Music. In the vinyl corner, I'm standing under the air conditioner. It's really nice. It's a really hot day in Osaka today. So you can see there's four boxes of records here. I'm gonna dive in. Let's see what they got. Oh, Anal Cunt, Morbid Florist, Possessed, Seven Churches, Reissue, Massacre, uh, Metal Medallo Attack. Nice. Oh, Treblinka, Demos. I've got this great record. The Enid, that's uh, I haven't seen that one. The later Enid record, Rainbow, Straight Between the Eyes. Uh, the Datsuns, wow, didn't expect to see that. Satanica, Dokken, Under Lock and Key, Rancid Decay. Michael Schenker, TNT, Michael Schenker, El Camino. And let's have a look at one more. What's next? Oh, Raven, pack is back. And then, oh, this is nice. Now this is one of my favorite uh, new wave of British heavy metal records of all time. Which find, give them hell. It's a classic, looks like a, no, a reissue, but this is a classic new wave British heavy record. And uh, what have we got next? Aggression, rage. Wow, what's that, Atlan, Atlane. Nice. Another one, Atlane, same band. More than like, more than like, Man of War, signing the hammer. Great, great record. Dervish. Heavy metal. Oh, bad company. Denouncement pyre. And burning, burning saviors. Oh, this is a good one. This is a, okay, this is a contemporary Japanese band. I think they're a Tokyo band. Metal punk record, a lot of people like this record. Yeah, band's called Military Shadow, young band from Tokyo, Blood for Freedom, first LP, great record. Recommendation from me, Military Shadow, great record. Uh, oh, here we go, Riot, what's this? Riot Archives Volume 2. I love Riot, one of my favorite uh, American heavy metal bands of all time. Amazing. Let's have a little look in this box, shall we? First up, Slayer, Rain and Blood. Masterpiece, obviously, repressed from 2000, 2013. Uh, Anthem, Nucleus. Anthem is Japanese heavy metal band. Uh, I think, didn't Graham Bonnet sing for them at some point? Long running Japanese band. I'm guessing this is their new record. So I'm quite excited to see this actually. It's on Nuclear, Nuclear Blast Records. Wow, Anthem, Japanese heavy metal. Uh, oh, Warbringer, contemporary thrash metal band. This is their new record. I haven't picked this up yet. I'll probably do that at some point. And then what we got? Stallion. This is probably New Wave of British Heavy Metal. So reissue on uh, High Roller Records. Oh, Holocaust. Again, another one of my favorite New Wave of British Heavy Metal bands. This is a 12 inch, don't have. It's great. Metallica were really influenced by this band. Like a lot of 
Diamond Head, uh, Holocaust, big influence on Metallica. Great record. And uh, oh, oh wow! Look at this! Wow! Damn. Metal Maniacs. This is a collection on uh, Ebony Records from England. Really underground, new wave of British heavy metal bands like Chateau, Madame, Madame Guill Guillotine, Menace, Trojan, Fallen Angel. This is a uh, yeah, wow. Good, good to see this record. Ebony Records, one of the sort of underrated uh, new wave of British heavy metal labels from uh, back in the day. And uh, what else have we got in here? Oh, sort of later era girl school. I like this record though. Take a Bite came out on GWR Records. Very glam, glammy record. It's got their cover of uh, Fox on the Run on here, hasn't it? Um, uh, they kind of changed their sound a little bit around this time, but I like this record a lot. Girl School, one of my favorite bands. Oh, look at this. Again, going back to the, the French heavy metal theme that we're just talking about. Volcane, the French heavy metal, the French Motel, I should say. The first record, Rock and Roll Secours, is sort of the closest thing you're gonna get, you're gonna get to Motorhead outside of Motorhead. This is a, a, a later record by them. I'm not, I've never heard it, but I'm kind of tempted to pick it up. This is Volcane from France. Killer. So SA Records not only has a lot of vinyl and CDs, this is also the place to come when you want to get a patch for your, your battle jacket. They've got an amazing selection of patches. Iron Maiden, Metallica, Going Down, ACDC, Motorhead, Ghost, there we go, Going Down, Rage, Dio playing in the background, Slayer, and then Oh, there you go, a couple of big back patches, Motorhead, and then more over here. Oh, this is about, this is uh, Carcass, Metal Lucifer, Japanese band, Black Sabbath. Great stuff. I got all my patches from this store. having a bit of a beer break, drinking favourite beer, Ginga Kogan, Japanese, uh, Weizen, uh, beer, love it, great in this weather. I'm standing outside the oldest standing bar in Osaka, Shiba Cho, we're in Japan, we can drink outside the street, it's no problem. And when we drunk this, we're going to go that way, and we're going to go to American Village, Aimura, and two punk shops, and another shop. So three more shops, so cheers. Here we are outside the legendary Punk and Destroy record shop uh, in Amemura, Osaka. I don't use the word legendary lightly. Amazing store, punk and hardcore only. Can't wait to go down and see what they got today. Let's go. All right, we're inside Punk and Destroy down in the basement here. What an amazing shop. So starting at the end here, got Use Japanese Punk. So let's see what they got. First up, Corrupted, legendary old sucker band. And then, wow, look at this. One of the best Japanese hardcore punk compilations of all time. Hardcore Unlawful Assembly. Gizm, Mobs, Lip Cream, Zoro, classic record. And then, this is interesting because some of the Crow records are being reissued now, but this is the original of Door of the End? Door of the End? Yeah. Door of the End, Door of the End, 12 inch. 600 copies made, 
it's a Crow great band, originally from Osaka, I believe, but it's a long time Tokyo based. And then new Japanese punk here, new overseas, new overseas Scandinavian reissues, European, new overseas, new overseas USA and Canada. I like this section, female vocal, girls punk here, and then new overseas just in i like that you've got the new new arrivals and then mustn't forget the war what we've got on the wall today oh the mob let the tribe increase from my hometown yeovil in england a bit before my time they're a bit older than me but um yeah this is an amazing record from my hometown the mob let the tribe increase uh, and then whilst ah here we go one of the best hardcore punk seven inch singles of all time from England, UK, UK to Ultraviolent, Crime for Revenge. Brilliant classic record. And then up here we've got, oh, there we go, it's the Amiga Tribe, No Love Lost. I saw them, I saw them at the Stonehenge Festival, I think it was 1983, 1984. I think Hawkwind played as well. I remember I saw Omega Tribe sort of early in the morning out in the field. Good experience. And then, this is my favorite section actually, it's the used overseas hardcore section and what we've got, Antisect, original, in darkness, there is no choice, is in the bins today. Don't know why we've got a lot of midnight today. Midnight. Midnight. And Midnight, one of my favorite bands from Cleveland of all time. So that's what we've got here today. If you're in Osaka, definitely come down and check out Punk and Destroy. We're outside of Revenge Records down here. Um, this is the shop run by Jackie of uh, Osaka Legends, Frantic, Punk, Metal, Revenge Records. Let's check it out. All right, we're inside Revenge Records now. Let's have a little look what they've got on the wall. So the first thing that caught my eye immediately is this Japanese metal punk masterpiece Gates, Devastation 12 inch on the wall there. All metal around here, metal section. Let's have a little look what they've got. Acid, classic German heavy metal band, live in Belgium, picture disc. Next up, this is one of the first bands I ever saw, Jaguar. One of the fastest and rawest uh, new wave of British heavy metal bands. I saw them in a tiny club in front of about 100 people. It must have been about 1982. The town was Yeovil, the same town I just talked about when I talked about the mob record from Punk and Destroy. That was the town I saw them in. It blew my mind. Like I was 13, 14 years old, and I bought the Axe Crazy single uh, from that gig. So this is Jaguar. Uh, demos, demos LP. Okay, so what's Razor? Canadian Thrush, this is the reissue of uh, Malicious and Evil Invaders. Yeah, one of the best thrush metal records of all time. Okay, moving around, a bit more evil. Arch Goat, some uh, brutal black, black and death Arch Goat. Oh, this is a good record. I'm actually going to buy this skeleton. Got a hell of a rich, crusty, crusty hardcore. Okay, we've got metal, metal here, metal on the wall, and then punk from the 2000s. Alright, we're outside Maro Kabatsu Records, down uh, just outside American Village. Uh, really long running record shop. Not only punk and metal, they have jazz and uh, reggae. And, uh, Japanese music, all sorts of music, but uh, the interesting thing about this uh, record store is it's run by the guy that used to run legendary live house eggplant here in Osaka back in the 80s. So let's have a little look at Marukabatsu. So we're inside Marukabatsu, right in the door is the punk and hardcore section, and today the first thing that I noticed was this record, Kakume 2, 
or Revolution 2, it's a compilation album. And the interesting thing about this is that I helped release this record back in the in the early 90s. It's a compilation album. It's German bands, Japanese bands, British bands. And uh, yeah, because at the time I did the sort of UK uh, distribution for MCR back then. And my girlfriend at the time, we lived together, she actually drew uh, the artwork for this record. So it's, it's always funny when I see this record out in the wild in Osaka. kind of reminds me of the early 90s living in England. So yeah, Kakume 2, Revolution, MCR. Just show one more record from here. This is Alchemy, Alchemy Records, really famous uh, independent label from Osaka. And this is one of my personal favorites from their label. It's SOB Kaidan, it's when hardcore band SOB teamed up with noise band Hijo Kaidan and they made this one record. It's just really, really noisy and abrasive record. I'm sure you know this record. So, uh, yeah. SOB Kaidan, Marokobatsu. Okay, so Marokobatsu is a, a really big store, so I'm just going to briefly just take you on a little tour around the store so you can see what, what's inside. Let's have a little walk around, shall we? It's all the rock section, rock, Zapper and Beefheart, rock, rock, Janice Joplin, uh, Journey, Velvet Underground, Police Sting, Queen, Rush, Roxy Music, Up the Wall, there, and back down, Rock, T. All the way down here, and then here we've got American Folk, AOR, Singer Songwriter, Psychedelic and Garage, Bob Dylan, huge section. Go back down to the back, we've got all the Soul, Soul Records here. There's the wall, and then uh, so African music, Asian, Asian pop, Europe, Salsa, Latin. And then swing round, Japanese records, tons of Japanese records. Japanese, 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 Japanese records. Moving along, J-pop and rock, 90s. Japanese again, all Japanese stuff. And, oh, this is a section I like. Progressive rock, German progressive rock, Tangerine Dream, Pink Floyd section, King Crimson, Genesis, and then, the metal, Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath. There we go. Metal, metal, metal. And then finishing up with reggae and. Right, we've arrived in Umeda, up north. Uh, North Osaka, final destination today. We're at Rockstack Records, used import heavy metal. Uh, this store is owned by Miki san. Miki san is the organizer of True Thrash Fest, probably one of the best underground thrash metal festivals in the world. Completely underground DIY operation, no big promoters. He's an amazing guy, it's an amazing shop. Let's go and have a look at Rockstack. So here we are inside Rockstack. As you can see, just so much heavy metal, and it's you know you don't know where to start. So let's have a little look in the racks. So we've got Thrash, Death, and Black Metal, and we've got this sort of caught my Exodus, Hardcore Metal. I think so it's live at Ruthie's, California, 1984. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a bootleg, but. I love the, love the cover on that, Exodus, uh, Hardcore Metal, great title as well. Um, moving along, and right, so we've got the new Onslaught album, I think this is new, King Peace, is this new Mickey, new album? Reissue? Uh, it, it used the copy. Okay, right, nice, 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 so yeah, this is a Onslaught from like near my hometown, they're from Bristol, probably the best thrash metal band ever to come out of Bristol, so. Yeah, it's good to see a record from near my hometown. The Onslaught, uh, Killing Peace. Moving on, I love this band a lot. It's a Portuguese, Portuguese doom power metal band called Iron Sword. I don't have this record. I've got a couple of other ones, but uh, sort of like Man of War, uh, sort of slow doomy power metal. This is one of the best bands in that genre. Iron Sword, great band, great band. Uh, what else have we got? 
Oh, here we've got the Iron Maiden Judas Priest Metallica section. This is interesting. It's uh, obviously probably another bootleg, but it's Iron Maiden. The Axe Falls on Holland. Live in Holland, 1981, from the Killers Tour. And I saw, I saw Iron Maiden on the Killers Tour, same year. So this was in April. Uh, I would have seen them in February, same year. So set list is, the set list is probably the same as when I saw them. So this is kind of cool to have. So yeah, live, 1981. Obviously, Paul Diano lineup. Nice. I might actually buy this later on. And then another couple that caught my eye. This is great because my introduction to heavy metal was Tommy Vance. Radio One, Late at Night, Friday Night, the Friday Rock Show. And these two records are from the Friday Rock Show. Nice Japanese presence. These are promo copies. I think this one has yeah, Diamond Head, Sweet Savage, Witch Find on it great record and then this one also is also from the Friday Rock Show uh, it's got Samson, Angel Witch, Praying Mantis nice Japanese pressings promo copies so Rockstack really is the place to come if you're looking for heavy metal records in Osaka so Rockstack Cheers everyone, our little journey of Osaka record shops has come to an end, hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to put links to all the shops in the description below, um, obviously things are a bit difficult now, probably you can't come to Japan, but by all means try and mail order something from one of these shops, I'm, I'm sure they'd appreciate your support. So until next time, stay healthy and stay clean.